Hey guys, so welcome back to part two of this review of RC Studio series from Transformers the movie from 1986. So, as I said before, my Transformers reviews are going to be like this since my camera likes to mess up from time to time. Um, I do it in two parts since that. That is my limit on the camera. And, yeah. So, let me just take a look at RC. And, and the only reason she's against the fish tank that I have in, right here is because basically she is top heavy. Like, I can't stand her if I had a chance. My Nightbird, which is a repaint of RC and a remold, basically, my Nightbird. Bigger is not top heavy and she can actually stand. Well, this RC figure is very top heavy and cannot stand. However, the detail on her is very much well done. Like, she doesn't have anything going for her that basically is lack of their rub of a transformer. She is a shell former, like she was on the show. She transformed into a Cybertronian car. Everybody knows that. I already showed the Cybertronian car part one. And yeah. So this is her transformation to a robot. And I gotta say, it does look good. The gun can be put into a port on her legs or her or the back of her backpack. Um, and what I mean is there's like holes to put her backpack in as a side blaster or the holes to like put it in as a holster and this and that so that was my review of the studio series rc from transformers the 1986 film i hope you enjoy